as promised in my other video about the Amstrad ALT286. This is uh, this is the laptop with the obviously with the lid ripped off. Um, previously, I mentioned that I've obviously done quite a few things to keep this thing going. Um, the floppy drive has been replaced. You can see Sony unit. Um, there's a few modifications which you need to do uh, to these drives. As you can see from the cable, those mods are actually available on the internet. Um, so yeah, that, that unit works absolutely fine now. Um, the hard drive died. Uh, so as you can see, we've gone from a 3.5 inch 40 megabyte Amstrad unit, which I think was manufactured by somebody else. Obviously it was manufactured by Amstrad, I think it was maybe Seagate, not entirely sure. Uh, down to a 2.5 inch uh, IDE hard drive from, uh, as you can tell, an old Apple computer. Now I said in my other video I thought it was about 504, yeah 500 megabyte, and it was hovering around that kind of mark. Um, so yeah, so that's there, and I think, oh yes, the Andridid battery. The uh, That's obviously the CMOS battery down there, so that's been replaced as well with a 3.6 volt little, uh, little battery pack. And, good god, yes. Right, this next bit, fun. The original power supply died. Capacitors leaked everywhere. It's, uh, it's a really horrible power supply, to be completely honest with you. Now, I think I incorrectly said in the other video um, how, <laughs> how I've bodged together this to make it work. Um, I said I had a Pico P, uh, PSU. Which isn't really. It, there's actually three. <laughs> there's actually three power supplies in here, and I will go through the reasoning for for this. Um, right on the underside there, as you can see, we've got the uh, large positive and negative. That good, that's a separate board. This is actually one uh, that was designed to go in in vehicles, so it runs straight off. Ah, uh, um, oh, yeah. Sorry, I've just literally remembered right now why I've got three power supplies in there. Sorry, the, I only thought there was two power supplies in there and it kind of perplexed me why I had three. No, I've just remembered. Old age, great. Right, moving on. Okay, as I said, there is a uh, there's a very thin board there that's actually designed to go in vehicles. Uh, that one runs off a, normally runs off a 12 volt supply, so it normally goes to the positive and negative of your car battery. Um, so you can run whatever media setup you like in your vehicle. I had that one lying around uh, and it also fitted in this quite confined area here. Now obviously to run that I needed 12 volts so I got myself a 12 volt supply so that is just literally this top half here supplies the power to the bottom board so we've got 12 volts going into the bottom board there. Um, uh, this is where things got a little bit more interesting, that's why I have to correct what I went and said uh, in an earlier video where I said that the uh, the screen on this requires minus 12 volts. That was wrong. They actually require minus uh, 19 volts. Now, um, how I've achieved that, as you can tell, is there's yet another power supply down by the side of there, and that is a 19 volt power supply. And the uh, the positive output of that one is connected to the ground of the car one of the uh, of the car power supply outlet. Thus, meaning that the negative on this one is now minus nineteen. So it's just like a voltage differential. Um, and that yeah, that's worked fine. That's had no issues whatsoever. There's no issues with heat in here either. Um, the old Amstrad power supply used to get quite toasty. I'm not quite sure if that's because the pass, uh, capacitors were at the end of their, uh, their, end of their life. But uh, this suffers, doesn't suffer from any heat issues or heat build up, considering they're so closely stacked together. I mean, you have got a slight bit of ventilation in the top there. Um, so, you know, but there's, there's no... It just gets warm. That's about all I can say. Now, um, 
stupidly, um, I didn't bother taking any of the voltages of the old power supply before it blew up. So when I came to create this, it was a bit of a learning curve. Now there's no battery on this either, so there's no charging circuit. So a couple of the wires, which would probably be required for charging the battery, not that I believe for one second anyone's actually got an original battery that holds charge anymore, uh, they're not connected up. So this is the this connector here. Just get this focused in. Yeah, this connector here is the main connector that goes to the board. So this is where I've obviously tethered in all my other uh, all my other connections to the uh, the car power supply and the minus 19 volts from that uh, above there. Um, now then, I have got to try and remember which one is which for this. This is going to be fun. The Yep, okay, I remember now. Right, starting from this end, we have uh, plus 5 volts, plus 5 volts, plus 12 volts, uh, minus 12 volts, and the next one along there is minus 19 volts, so that's the one you require for the screen. That is the third one in from the right, this is the minus 19. And I will just double check these two here, but I'm sure both of those are ground, so I've got my multimeter here, and unfortunately I don't have enough hands to hold everything, so I'll be highly unprofessional. Put the phone down so you can have a little look at the desk on it, very interesting whilst I'm doing this. So I'm just going to go probe between the two, and yeah, both of those ones on the right hand side are ground. Um, so yeah, that's all you need. If you're ever going to replace uh, the power supply in these, so that's what you need. So 5, 5, 12, sorry, running from the left to the right. 5, 5, 12, minus 12, uh, minus 19, ground, ground. And that's all you need to get the old girl fired up. Um, I think the... Sure, just have a look here. That is where the charging circuit cabling came in, which I've removed now because I don't need that at all. Um, and there's no battery on this at all. It was just dead and it was it probably didn't exactly help the old Amstrad power supply that was there whilst it was continuously trying to charge up a pretty much shorted battery, so that wouldn't have exactly done the original power supply much good. Um, just looking here, we've got, I suppose you could technically call it a, a daughter board, uh, which holds the, uh, the sims. For the memory, this has a heady one megabyte. I do believe just on the reverse, which would be, yeah, the reverse of this, you can see the pin solder there. That's where your maths coprocessor uh, would go on the reverse of that, if you had one. Over here, you've got your ISA slot. I uh, haven't got any cards to go in this machine. The only thing I'd ever bother putting in this would be a, uh, a sound blaster card. But I kind of like the PC speaker, actually. I'm, I'm a bit strange on that. Um, and I'm not entirely sure that the ISA uh, card slot would work. Because uh, I'm sure I'm missing one of the voltages. Ooh. Yeah, it's alright. Um, one of the voltages actually required uh, for the ISA slot is minus 5 volts and at the moment I don't have that in the circuitry here um, and there's a sticker on the rear of these that says that the ISA slot can draw this amount of amps on 12 plus 5 volts uh, minus 5 volts etc 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 so it kind of implies that minus 5 volts is used in some capacity for the ISA slot uh, whether the sound card needs it or not I'm not entirely sure just looking on the rear of here Move across. Yeah, you just got an external uh, VGA port there. A couple of dip switches. Some more dip switches down there. Uh, all the documentation for this is online. Just think that a little bit. Uh, two com ports. Obviously, I use the first one for a mouse and a, uh, a printer port, or just a parallel. Um, I think it's an RS four two five port or something like that. Um, so yeah, and that's about the insides of uh, this Amstrad. I'll say it's had many attempts to uh, try and run off and jump off the cliff and kill itself, but uh, I refuse to let it do that. Uh, 
so uh, yeah, hopefully it should keep going for quite a few more years, fingers crossed. Anyway, uh, if you need to know anything more, um, then you should just drop a, uh, a mention or uh, a question in the comments, and uh, I will see if I can try and remember some sort of answer for you, which may help some of you out if you're trying to repair some of these things. I think I've pretty much covered everything at the moment. No, that's just obviously a uh, three and a half inch to two and a half inch um, hard drive adapter, uh, hard drive adapter down there. Um, I think that's about it. Right, bye bye.